welcome back to uh, Blue Harvest Vintage Toys. Now, seeing as you're watching this channel, I'm assuming that you are a collector of toys. Now, whatever you collect, vintage, modern, Star Wars, Marvel Legends, He-Man, anything at all, you will, from time to time, have trouble getting what you want. So, on this video today, I am going to review the places where I buy modern toys. Now I do intend to do a follow up video on vintage toys, the auction houses, places like that. But for today it's going to be concerning modern toys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each company, website or shop. And I'm going to give them a rating in different categories. And the categories are going to be stock, customer service, communication, delivery time, postage, packing and then an overall score. In the first two I'm going to do, I'm going to do an extra cat category of returns as well, which is not applicable to the rest of them. So the first one I'm going to start off with is eBay. Yes, the old favourite eBay. You may not like it, but it's a necessary evil. And it's quite difficult to categorise eBay because, as you know, it's different sellers. So I'm going to give a general score on my experiences. So let's start with stock. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And this is just because you can get nearly everything on eBay. Not quite everything, but almost everything. So the customer service and communication, it's, it's two different things, I suppose, in, in eBay. People almost have to give good customer service, or else they'll lose their 100% positive feedback. And when you're buying something off a seller, always check that feedback. If it's not 100%, check the negative feedback messages. But the communication on eBay is one of the best elements of eBay. So I'm going to give that a 7. Next up we have delivery time and postage. I'm going to give that a 6. I think that's a bit generous really because you always get that seller that will not ship something for about a week. But sometimes you'll get that seller that sends the thing the next day. And for God's sake, if you are a seller, please do not use Hermes. They may be the cheapest option, but they are crap. Next category for eBay is packing. And I'll give that a five. Because as you know, you get some really good packing sometimes. I recently I've got, you can always tell a collector who's packed something. But on the flip side, there's always a seller that'll send you something in an envelope. So as I said, the first two are getting an extra category. And that is returns. I give uh, eBay a seven on returns because it is mandatory for uh, sellers business sellers and all sellers really to have a returns policy in place and 99% of the time it's always in favour of the buyer. So for eBay I'm going to give an overall score of 7. So the next company up is Amazon. Again like eBay it's quite difficult to give an overall score in each category but again I'm going to go on experience. So for stock I'm going to give Amazon a 7. Not as much as eBay, they don't have as many products as eBay, obviously. They have less sellers on there, but they do have an impressive range of stock. So for customer service and communication, I've given them a 6, because you can't actually get in touch with them anymore. I've tried, and you, you, there's no communication button, there's no contact us button anymore. You cannot contact a seller, you cannot contact Amazon, so there's no real customer service and evidence. As for delivery time and postage, I'm going to say 9. If you've got Amazon Prime, it's obviously the next day delivery, or sometimes the same day. Unless, of course, you're buying from those sellers in China, which you shouldn't be doing, really, anyway. Next, we have packing, and yes, I know what you're going to say. The packing is shocking. Um, it's up and down. It's up and down. It really is. I'm actually going to give it a 6, because I have had no nightmares from them. I know a lot of people have, but from my experience, not that bad. One of the reasons they use oversized boxes is the sellers get sent the boxes from Amazon to ship to you. And it's always filled with that paper as well. It's usually better if it's sent straight from Amazon themselves, one of their warehouses. But just beware, because a lot of the time, your figures are going to be sent in book boxes. So the next category, like eBay, is the extra category, and it is returns. And this is where Amazon really excels. I'm going to give them a 9. You can return anything to Amazon, even if you've opened it, you don't like it, you've used it, it doesn't work, 
All you have to do is put it back in the box, take it to the local news agent or wherever you, they, they receive these uh, returns, and you get your money straight back into your bank account. That's my experience anyway. And even though they don't have any customer service, they do have the returns. So I've ended up giving Amazon uh, eight because they do have a lot of these pre-orders and exclusives of the figures. So like eBay, but not quite as bad as eBay, they are a necessary evil. The next lot of companies are going to be brick and mortar stores, mixed in with some deliveries. So the first one up is The Entertainer. It is a toy shop I visit regularly. There are two, actually, in my area. One is far superior than the other, but they do seem to stock the same things. So beginning with the stock, I'm going to give them a six. This is only because they don't seem to have anything new in stock since since last year, for over a year, actually. And uh, we recently had the news that the entertainer was going to move into five Asda stores next year. So hopefully they will be getting more new stuff as opposed to old bargain stuff. They have recently been getting a few of the, the Black Series and they did, in fact, get the Carbon Freeze Chamber. So that score of six could be a lot lower. <laughs> The customer service and communication is absolutely brilliant in there. I've actually in the past had a manager in there letting me know when new items arrive. And they're always very friendly and happy to help. So as I said, they got the carbon freeze chair, but I did order it online. So I'm going to give the delivery time and postage a 7, which was pretty good, really. I ordered it on the Thursday. I did contact them Thursday night to see if I could click and collect, because I, I forgot I was going into Leeds, so I could have collected it. But they didn't have any in Leeds, so they were still going to post me. But it actually came on the Saturday, so it only took two days. So that score is based on just the one item. But the packaging, I'll give it a nine, because it was well packed. It had the, the airbags in there, and it had the little catalogue. So I'm going to give the entertainer overall a seven. Now, the next store I'm going to talk about would have had... A lot higher scores pre last week, and that is Forbidden Planet International in Leeds. Now, I want to give a disclaimer here because it's not actually Forbidden Planet, it is Forbidden Planet International. Yes, they're a different company, don't ask me, I can't get me head around it either. But let's start with the stock category. And as you might have seen my videos, I go to Forbidden Planet what every fortnight, more if I can. And their stock in there is outstanding. I'm going to give it an 8 though, because it's not absolutely brilliant. There's a lot of Funko Pops in there. Mostly Funko Pops. And where they keep the Star Wars Black Series and the Vintage Collection well stocked. They seem very up to date with it and they seem to get deliveries every week. What really lets them down is the other figures like the Marvel Legends, things like that. They, don't get me wrong, they have loads of Marvel Legends and DC and Marvel Selects and... Any kind of thing you're actually going to need. Neck is pretty bad in there, but neck is bad everywhere in the UK. Now, I haven't included a price category in this because I do believe if you want a figure that badly, you're going to pay what they want you to pay. So there's no value or uh, price category in this. It's just where to get them, basically, and where I think is the best place to get them. But as uh, they do import a lot of figures, I think the prices are quite high. The Black Series aren't that bad, I think they're about the retail price, but when you've got uh, Black Series at £20 and then Vintage Collection at eighteen ninety nine, I don't think, yeah, the pricing structure is not very good. And when you've got the Ghostbusters figures for £26 and the G.I. Joes for £26 when they're only $15 in America, they are peg warming in there. And I do believe they'll be in the sale very soon, so I'm going to keep my eye on that one. So on to the customer service category, yes, um, and communication. Now, before last week, it was brilliant. I, the, the turnover staff's quite high, so you don't really get to know people in the, the rapport. I, there's one guy I've seen a couple of times, I started talking to him. But the last couple of weeks, there's been a woman in that, uh, I don't know if she's a, a manageress, she could be, but... Um, I'm not going to go too far into it, but she shouted across the, the, the shop at me for not wearing my mask properly when I feel I was. So unfortunately, that score is going to be a five. Yeah, I know it could. I could have. I could have given a one basically for what how I felt at that point. But I'll give him a five because it's always been good up till the last couple of times. 
So as I've not had anything posted or delivered from Forbidden Planet, I am going to give them an overall score of 6. And that is quite disappointing as it's one of the best shops to buy your modern figures. The last brick and mortar shop I'm going to talk about today is some <laughs> it's a shop I've talked about before. And that is Smith's. If you've watched my videos, you know who, I, who Smiths are. You'd be well aware of how um, devastated I was that they cancelled my pre-order of the arcade 1-up Star Wars machine. But I'm not going to um, let that influence my judgment <laughs> in any way. So, stock-wise, I'm going to give them a 2. Yes, Star Wars is not readily available in Smiths. It's a big... Well, the big, probably the biggest toy shop in, in the UK. They're an Irish company. But uh, I, I have three Smiths in this area. And I don't visit them. I, I can't remember the last time I've actually visited them. It might have been last year, last time I visited the Smiths in the centre of Leeds. And that's because they don't stock Star Wars. Now, they stock a few bits of Marvel, I've been told. I've not really looked recently. But they stopped stocking Star Wars in 2017, I think it is, 2016, 2017. And I don't really want to go into the whole debate about if they should have collector aisles. I know HMV are opening up to having collector uh, figures in their stores, which is good. But Smiths, are... yes, I know they're, they're a toy store. They sell toys for kids. Now, they have had some of the mission fleet in and I have had some sent to me and they have had some 40th anniversary black series in so they might be going back down the road of getting Star Wars in again one would hope so but that's in the future I'm talking about the present and as of now this stock is very poor their customer service and communication I'm actually going to give them a 7 I was going to give them a 6 but I'll give them a 7 mainly because I used to have a contact in Smiths and he used to tell me how they used to order and things like that and they do always seem very helpful. And we talk to them online. They have, they're always helpful. They'll want to help. And the whole arcade went up debacle is not really their fault. They've been let down by their supplier. I did get a £25 voucher from them. Which I haven't yet used. Because as I said the stock is uh, number two. In both meanings. <laughs> so going on to the mission fleet that I did get sent. Uh, they delivered pretty fastly. Uh, delivery time. And postage, I'm going to give a 9. Because it was it was very good. And the postage packaging was amazing. Again, so that is going to be an 8. And Smith's overall score was going to be a 5. But I'm going to give them 6. And that's just because of their delivery system. I might I add, it was free delivery. So next up, we're going to go into these online retailers. These small companies. I don't really want to call them one-man bands. Because they're not. They've got some staff there. So the first off is the one I use the most is Star Action Figures. I have actually only ordered eight items from Star Action Figures. So these uh, ratings are based on those eight orders. So for stock, I'm going to give them a nine. They nearly always have everything you want in there. And they're well in with Hasbro. They're getting two deliveries a week now. And they're getting their own pre-orders in there. So basically at the moment, they are the go-to people. So I bet you're wondering, why am I going to bother with the other ones if this is a go-to one? Well, the, there is a problem, and that is their customer service and communication. Whereas they have a Facebook page, and they put up posts quite often. Uh, every Wednesday, they tell you what's coming in that, that Friday on the delivery. But if you try asking them about your order, you email them, you never get a reply. And a lot of the Facebook posts are moaning about people emailing them. Which I can understand they're very busy. I don't want to get the stuff out of the warehouse and into customer hands. But if you've got time to write a post moaning about emails, you've got time to reply to your emails. Yes, I know they must get thousands of emails every day. But for me, customer service means communication and keeping in touch with the customers, keeping your customers happy, updated on product that is coming. I have an item in my inventory that I pre-ordered in May. Now, I haven't chased it down because I know I'll get it, but I did send a couple of emails earlier on in the year and never got a reply. That's how long I've been researching this video. Another thing that lets them down is delivery time and postage. Again, it could be due to lack of staff. 
That does seem to be an issue at Star Action Figures. I'm sure a lot of people would work there for free. But when you see your pre-order that you've been waiting for months is ready and in the warehouse and being packed, and then it's still being packed, and the next day it's still being packed, and then it's ready to post, and then it's posted, and then you've got to wait another three, four days for it to actually arrive. So I'm going to give them a four for that. But when you do actually get it and it arrives, it is the best packed action figure you will ever receive. The amount of air bubble and wrapping and the thing that, oh, it's, it's amazing. So I'm going to give that a 10. The only 10 on this entire review. So plenty of ups and downs there. And the overall score I'm going to give Star Action Figures is a 7. Like I say, they are currently the go-to guys. But that could always change. The next company I've used are Indyman Toys. Now I've only got three items from this company. The Vintage Collection Jabba's Palace. A episode 1 Qui-Gon. So they don't actually sell just modern. And at Marvel Legends I Am Patriot that I put my email in. And they told me when one was available. So they have that service too. But as this review is just modern, I'm going to give in demand a stock score of 7. Not quite up there with Star Action figures, but getting there. The good thing about in demand is their customer service and communication. And I'm actually going to give them a 9 for this. Because I've been talking to them on Facebook. And they told me all about themselves. And I may do more in-depth reviews on these companies at a later date. But for today, I'm going to stick with a number system. So for delivery time and postage, it's really quick. Uh, I give it a 7. And I'm going to give them a 7 for packing too. As they pack very well. Didn't get a flyer in this one, this last one, unfortunately. Which is a bit of a missed opportunity. So the overall score for in-demand toys is 7.5. That 0.5 might make a big difference. So the last online company today is Comics and Cocktails. Now Comics and Cocktails are a new one on me. I've only ordered two items off them. One's not arrived as yet. It's on pre-order. And that is the end all layer. I did order the Wolverine through them. I ordered them both at the same time. And I did think the end all layer was coming. Because the shipping email didn't actually tell me what I was getting. So to the ratings. Um, stock. A 7, again, up there with in-demand, but not as high as Star Action figures. For customer service and communication, I've given them a 6, because I've not really had to get in touch with them as yet. So it's just about in the middle for that, just because of the double email mix-up. For delivery time and postage, I'm actually going to give them an 8, because it came really fast in that Wolverine. I'm not factoring the fact of the end-all layer not coming, because they haven't got it yet. But the packing is going to be, again, a 7. It came well packed. But again, no flyer. And I guess I've been really lucky so far that Touchwood have had no damages. So, comics and cocktails overall score is going to be a 7. Now, I do have another company that I am using at the moment in Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles. But as I'm waiting for their shipment, I think I will do a separate review on them. They do seem like a very interesting company and something I want to delve into a bit more and maybe use them a bit more. It does sound like they may be able to source a more rarer and wider range of action figures. So look out for that one. If there are any online stores that I have missed out, I know there's, there's going to be a few. Kapow Toys and other places. If you know one, use one or even own one. Let me know and I will include it in the next round of reviews and ratings and this is maybe something i can update every so often so let's go through the ratings once again starting with smith at five forbidden planet at six star action figures the entertainer and ebay at seven comics and cocktails at 7.5 and coming out top are amazon I know many of you will disagree with that, but it's all based on my point of view. It's down to the returns and the delivery time. And as I said, I've had no issues from Amazon. No issues from anybody, really, damage-wise. So this was informative, educational, <laughs> but above all entertaining for you. I do try and get all three of my videos. Please check all my playlists out. And if you like anything, stick around and subscribe.
But until the next time, may the toys be with you.